My name is Ron Kovic, and I joined the United States Marine Corps out of high school in 1964, inspired by President Kennedy's ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. I asked what I could do for my country. I volunteered for two tours of duty in Vietnam. I was, I was ready to, I was willing to risk my life, and I was willing to die for my country. I, I so, um, I trusted, I trusted my leaders, I trusted this government, and uh, all of that was shattered after Vietnam. On January 20th, 1968, uh, while leading my, my scout team across an open area, on a, leading a, an attack on a village, uh, I was shot in the right foot. The first bullet went through my foot and blew out the back of my heel, and the second bullet uh, I continued to return fire in a, in a prone position, and the second ball that hit my right shoulder went through my lung and severed my spine from my mid-chest down. I became paralyzed for the rest of my life. And um, Vietnam changed my life, and that wound, uh, that wound changed me forever. I had seen the cost of war, the human cost of war, at the intensive care ward in Da Nang. I had seen it at the Bronx VA. I had lived amongst the rats and, and the overcrowded conditions, patients pushing call buttons and AIDS never coming to their, men lying in their own excrement. And a government, a government that could pay for the most, the most uh, technologically advanced weaponry, the most lethal weapons you could imagine, millions of dollars, billions of dollars, and yet, yet could not care for their own wounded when they came home. Over the last month and a half, I found myself amongst the wounded once again at the Long Beach Veterans Hospital. I was told that um, there were two young men in the room next to, my, next to mine. They were in their early 20s. They were Iraq veterans who had just been paralyzed in the Iraq War. And um, this touched me very deeply. I spent that month and a half in the Bronx VA. I met some of the most wonderful people, very dedicated people, very caring human beings. But there were the same overcrowded conditions. There was, there was the equipment that broke down, the equipment uh, that, 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 that did not work, uh, the need for more funding, the need for more caregivers, more aids. There were patients who continued to have to wait uh, for assistance, uh, same as the Bronx in 1968. Uh, there, were, there was a shortage of nurses. Um, how can you send young men like myself and those of this generation to Vietnam and to Iraq, how can you send them and spend billions of dollars on a war that, that is lost, a war that cannot be won, a senseless war, uh, a wasteful war. How can you do that? How can you put their lives at risk? How can you put them through that that emotional trauma and not care for them when they come home? This is uh, this is unacceptable. I I love this country. I was willing to risk my life. I gave three quarters of my body to this country in Vietnam, and I'm watching the same thing happen all over again. What is it going to take? How many more have to die? How many more have to come home wounded and maimed like myself? 